Guys, what is going on? And welcome to another episode of Jack Fishing. Unfortunately, I'm doing my intro from the deck. Why? As you guys can tell, this is a catch and cook video. But unfortunately for me, my battery died on my audio device. And there's no audio for like the entire catch part of the video. So I'm just going to go over it with you guys real quick. Do a little voiceover. And then we'll get to the cooking part. So it's more of like a little bit of catch and a lot of bit of cook video. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoy it. And let's take a look how we went down. So this right here, guys, was a very, very special moment for me. Um, as you guys can tell, my boy is catching a bluegill over here. It was the first one he had this year. Um, it's his first fish of 2019. He was super excited. I wish I had the audio working because the joy and excitement and the happiness in his voice is just absolutely amazing. High five right there. Um, this fish was actually pretty cool. It was actually a hybrid. It was a mixture of a bluegill and a pumpkin seed for you guys that are familiar. Um, it actually had a bluish tint to it, which I wish you guys can tell, but the camera doesn't do it justice. So there it is one more time. Gorgeous little fish. It's his first fish of 2019. And there he goes for the little release. And there the fish he goes. It was awesome. We had a wonderful, wonderful day. Now, right over here, as you guys can tell, I'm using the fishing rod from Mike uh, from Challenging the Outdoors. He's the one that sent it to me. And this is the bluegill that we're gonna cook up. So it was a slab. It was a nice one. And guys, welcome to the cook. All right, so original plan, we were gonna do a catch and cook in the woods. However, uh, yeah, I had my kids with me. My little one is still in diapers and she filled that bad boy up. Didn't have an extra one, had to come home. All right guys, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do it just the way I would have if we were in the campsite, except I'm gonna be using a grill as the heat source. Okay, so I still got the oil. I still got my little mix of breadcrumbs and like some random seasoning in here, which uh, <laughs> I actually already have cleaned the fish and the fillets are in there. Okay, so there we go. They're in the bread. Got that. Then if you guys recall my camp and cook video, okay, this is the mess kit I got and I'm gonna be using this just because that's what I would be using over there. Now, all right, I know this isn't the typical catch and cook where, you know, I'm doing it in the woods, but you know, nature calls and the little ones nature called. So here we are and we're gonna make the best of it. Let's do this. I filleted them, the bluegill up. Okay, it's in here. I got two little fillets. Um, just uh, to give you guys an idea, I'm gonna be using this cheap little vegetable oil I picked up in Dollar General, okay? And I'm just gonna be deep frying, uh, deep frying it real quick. And that's literally all I'm gonna be doing. It's just more of a little taste and reminder of how excellent live caught fish are, well, fresh caught fish are. So just to give you guys an idea, um, you guys saw how big that bluegill was. That was a, that was a nice slab. And uh, the fillets that you get out of fish like that, are just that big very small okay so they're not big at all <laughs> uh you know they're, they're really delicious though it is beautiful beautiful white meat i wish i would have showed you guys before i actually put them in the breadcrumbs and stuff but there it is it's really good super super delicious all right guys so i think the oil is ready i got my two little fillets over here which uh i just got them in some uh breadcrumbs and some random seasoning and stuff so they should be done really quick we're gonna put them on and let's see what happens guys oh yeah that's what i'm talking about right there oh yeah look at that sizzle ladies and gentlemen that's what i'm talking about bluegill of 2019 going in hot <laughs> see what i did there there you guys go you can see it sizzling nice and good okay, so i got the fillets here they are just nice and slowly coming together i think a couple of minutes on each side and they are going to be good to go and then we could do a taste test i just want to take this time to say thank you to you guys i know it's been so long that i haven't been able to provide content and i've been chasing this bass trying to get on the board for the spring bass open and today i just took a step back and i said to hell with it i took my children out you know <laughs> got a couple of worms and we went out there and it was an amazing time we caught a couple of bluegill the one big one we got the slab kept it and we're cooking them up 
I'm gonna flip them real quick. There's one. Okay. Whew. Ah, that's hot. There you go. Flip the other one. And there we go. Take a quick look. There you go. It is looking good. Another thing I really want to do real quick is just say thank you to Mike from Challenging the Outdoors. Um, it is on the rod he sent me that I caught this bluegill on. And I, it's just amazing rod. And he is an amazing person. So um, huge shout out to him. And you know what? If you guys haven't checked out Challenging the Outdoors, check them out. They're a great channel. Awesome guys. Very funny. Extremely entertaining to watch. If you guys aren't subscribed to them, you're missing out on a lot. So it seems that the fish is ready. So I'm going to take these little tiny fillets, just throw them right here out on this plate with the paper towels, and we are set to go. All right, guys, so this is the final product. We got these two little freaking fillets out of it, and I am excited to try it. You guys are excited? Yeah. yeah. You guys, yeah. here you go. You guys split it up. Whew, careful, it's a little bit hot. How is it? Oh my god. Here you go, Aria. Mm hmm. Is that yummy, fishy? Yeah, can I have that one too? <laughs> you want, can I have a little piece? I just want a little piece, alright? There you go. I'm just gonna take this little piece. Aria, you want more? There you go. Oh my. <laughs> I think he likes it. This is my piece. Oh wow. Yep. Yep. These things are so good. They're absolutely amazing. They'll make you want to do the floss. <laughs> but, um, yeah, guys, it's a lot of work for a very little. <laughs> I guess we got to go back fishing. <laughs> so, the final verdict is bluegill is an absolutely amazing fish to eat it's very delicious however given the size you gotta catch a whole boatload of them to get a decent meal out of them you know uh what you guys see in these two little tiny fillets were from a good sized bluegill so darren just so you know this is what you're in for buddy i hope you bring your fillet knife down when you're uh when you're coming down here bud that's gonna do it for this video thank you guys so much for still tuning in even though i've been on this drought of no catching fish for months on end and guys thank you so much i really hope that you enjoyed today's episode i really 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 do it was so awesome to catch that bluegill well a few of them cook them up spend time with my children do a little catch and cook and i hope you guys enjoy this content i really do and guys if you haven't already hit that thumbs up leave a comment down below and if you haven't already please hit that subscribe button and until next time tight lines <laughs>